Let's get right to that breaking news update out of the Black Hawks camp. Our Dermont Terry live outside the United Center. And Dermont, it's been an explosive day. It has, Erica. And as Blackhawks fans entered the UC, they couldn't help but think about the cloud of shame now hanging over this team. And the man who says the organization turned its back on him after he first reported the sexual abuse speaks out about his pain and the progress he says is needed to move forward. You could never imagine being put in this situation by somebody that's supposed to be there to help you and to make you a better hockey player. Holding nothing back, John Doe, now known as former Blackhawks minor league player Kyle Beach, goes public. A great feeling of relief, vindication, and it was no longer my word against everybody else's. In a raw interview with a Canadian sports network, Beach says he felt mostly ignored, even after telling Blackhawks team leaders that video coach Brad Alridge sexually assaulted him. I do believe that everybody in that locker room knew about it because the comments were made in the locker room. They were made on the ice. This is video from the Hawks prospect camp. Back in 2008, Beach was the Blackhawks first round draft pick. In May of that year, Beach says Allridge sexually assaulted him. The independent investigation confirmed the Blackhawks minor lead former player reported it, but Allridge wasn't disciplined and he was there for the Stanley Cup win. It was like his life was the same as it was the day before. The same every day. And then when they won, to see him paraded around, lifting the cup at the parade, at the team pictures, at the celebrations, it made me feel like nothing. Allridge left the team and went on to coach at a Michigan high school, where a few years later he pled guilty to sexually assaulting a player. I'm sorry I didn't do more when I could to make sure it didn't happen to him, to protect him. Beach sued the Chicago Blackhawks for negligence, leading to an independent investigation that resulted in top team brass resigning this week. I think that the step the Blackhawks took yesterday is a great step in the right direction. They accepted accountability and they took actions necessary, albeit too late. And you could just hear the pain in his voice. Beach says he also wants Coach Q, the former head coach of the team, held responsible too. As you might recall, Coach Q currently t uh, coaches down in Florida. And tomorrow, he is expected to meet with the NHL commissioner about what, if anything, he knew about this case. Reporting live outside the UC tonight, Jermont Terry. Erica, back to you. Jermont, thank you.